down in Stoga High School. I'm Mark Kolodinsky. You're watching NASD TV, Channel 28. Our NASD TV cameras hit the road for the first time this year to bring you round Ladies two the of the girls' attention. Division I the playoff PIAA bracket. The District 1, the Central League, and Conestoga High School promote good sportsmanship by officials, coaches, student athletes, and spectators. The PIAA report requires registered sports officials to enforce the sportsmanship rules for coaches and contestants. Actions meant to demean opposing players, coaches, teams, spectators, or officials are not in the highest ideals of interscholastic education and will not be tolerated. Anyone violating these rules will be immediately removed from the building. Let tonight's contest reflect mutual respect. Also a reminder, we are under PIAA playoff guidelines, which requires no noisemakers of any kind, and no signs are permitted at any time. Also, it is Conestoga High School policy that no one be seated in the first two rows of the bleachers. Once again, it is Conestoga policy that please do not sit in the first two rows of the bleachers. We thank you in advance for your cooperation. And good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Conestoga Senior High School, where tonight we present a PIAA District 1 second round playoff game between the Eagles of Norristown High School and your Conestoga Pioneers. Let's meet the starting lineups for tonight's game. First, for the visiting Norristown Eagles. Starting at one guard. Number one, Bryn Katita. At the other guard, number 10, Heather McHugh. At the third guard, number 24, Sophia Waters. At one forward, number two, Alyssa O'Donnell. And at the other forward, number 15, Devin Blake. The Norristown Eagles are coached by Keith Webster. And now, let's meet the starting lineup for your Conestoga Pioneers. Starting at one guard, number three, Katie Dunn. And the other guard, number 20, Kim Shoot. At the third guard, number 33, Ellen Hill. Starting it forward, number 52, Kristen Johnson. And starting at center, number 50, Chelsea Shine. The Pioneers are coached by Mr. John Jones. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we would ask you all to please rise and feel free to join in the singing of our national anthem.
and gentlemen, we request that you please, during halftime and during timeouts, and in between quarters, please, spectators, stay off the playing floor. Again, we request that the spectators... Once again, good evening, everybody. I'm Mark Kalinske, bringing you the action on NASD TV Channel 28. Thank you. Sophia Waters leads the Narstown Eagles into Conestoga High School to take on the fourth seeded Conestoga Pioneers, who are led by their star center. Senior, six foot three, Chelsea Shine. She will tip it off against Alyssa O'Donnell for the Eagles. Conestoga in their home white uniforms. Narstown wearing the road blues, and we tip it off. The tip is controlled by the Conestoga Pioneers. And here's Kristen Johnson. Over to Katie Dunn, who shoots an early three and misses it. But the rebound and a miss on the putback for Johnson. And now another miss for Shine. Here's Blake with a rebound, and now Katita. McHugh for three, and it's no good, an air ball. But an offensive rebound, and now it's Sophie Waters, and now Brent Katita. Her pass was nearly stolen away by Kim Shoup, but the Eagles will keep it. Narstown loves to use the transition offense to create points, and they will try to do that tonight. But right now they'll set it up in the half court with Sophia Waters nearly losing it. Goes to McHugh, to Cotita. She goes inside to O'Donnell. A great matchup inside. O'Donnell getting, being guarded by Kristen Johnson. Here's Cotita. Passes inside and it's stolen away by Chelsea Shine. Here comes Conestoga now. They'll slow it down. Here's Katie Dunn. Now it's Kim Shoup back to Dunn. Katie Dunn driving. Dishes. This is Johnson now. Over to Dunn. That pass is way up in the air. Sophie Waters attempted to save it but stepped on the line before she went up and hit it. So we've played exactly a minute and nine seconds and we still have a scoreless ball game. That shot's up and no good from Shine and a rebound for Katita. Ahead to Waters. Waters has to slow it down as the pass was not perfect. Here's Katita driving. Going to O'Donnell, driving baseline, puts up a shot off the glass, it doesn't go. And a rebound for Shine. Here comes Kim Shoup, inside, takes the short jumper. And Kim Shoup and the Conestoga Pioneers will score the first basket. And now the Eagles throw away the inbound pass. Here's Dunn, guarded by McHugh. And now a three, he's put up and missed by Ellen Hill. But they got a put back down low with Kristen Johnson. Comes the Eagles. Heather McHugh being doubled. Had the ball taken away from her, but there was a foul first. Aggressive defense that time by Conestoga trying to get a steal in the backcourt. But all it results in is a foul. Here's Cotita now. Guarded by Dunn. That pass was nearly stolen. We've seen that happen a couple times now. Conestoga's trying to play the passing lanes and get some steals. But here's Waters. It's a 4-0 Conestoga lead with five and a half to go in the first. Blake couldn't handle the pass. And there's going to be a steal for Conestoga. There's Shoup. Goes to Hill. Guarded well by Alyssa O'Donnell. And now here's Chelsea Shine. In the low post. Puts up a shot. It's no good. And a rebound from McHugh. Katita could not handle it. And another steal for the Conestoga Pioneers. Ahead to Johnson. This is Johnson, actually. And she gets the basket. So here's Heather McHugh. The Eagles will try to break the half-court pressure. Waters now. Goes to Katita. Goes inside to Blake. Back out to Katita. She will drive. Put up a shot in the lane. It doesn't go. A rebound for O'Donnell, but there's a foul. It is on the Eagles, though, and the Conestoga Pioneers will take the ball. So, Norristown's offense non-existent here early as they are having trouble 
holding onto the ball. They're turning it over. And Chelsea Shine and Kristen Johnson will be on display all night for Conestoga. Two tremendous uh, low post scorers. So far, four points between the two of them, all of them for Johnson. Here is Kim Shoup. Goes over to Ellen Hill. Back to Shoup. And now they get an open shot for Ellen Hill, and it goes down. That's for three, and it's an early 9 to nothing lead for the host Conestoga Pioneers here. We got 419 to go in the first quarter, and it's been a nightmare of a start for the Eagles, who trail by nine. So we've got a 60-second timeout here taken by the Eagles as they try to regain their composure. They bring their 16 and 8 regular season mark into the playoffs. Knocked off Unionville in the first round by a final of 56 to 36. Alyssa O'Donnell led the Eagles with 12 points in that game. Meanwhile, Conestoga defeated Chichester by 16 points in the first round. Conestoga coming into the tournament as a four seed. They have high aspirations this postseason. And here's Cotita as we resume the action on the floor. Cotita stops and pops at the foul line and it goes down. Good looking jump shot for Bryn Cotita. Breaks the 9-0 initial run for the Conestoga Pioneers. Here's Katie Dunn now. She led the team in scoring in the first round with 18 points. Here's Kristen Johnson. And now Katie Dunn. Back out to Johnson. Goes inside to Shine. And now back out to Katie Dunn, who traveled with the basketball after she caught it. So hopefully the Eagles can convert on this and build on the momentum they got out of that timeout. Here comes Cotita, coast to coast. Puts up a layup, it doesn't go. And a rebound for Chelsea Shine, but a steal by Bryn Cotita on the other end. And Bryn Cotita single-handedly keeping the uh, Conestoga Pioneers from getting an early double-digit lead. Here's Ellen Hill, pumped for three, but pulls it back out. Here's Katie Dunn to Chelsea Shine. Lost it, but right to Allen Hill. Goes to Kim Shoup. Back to Hill. Into the corner to an open Dunn. Does not take the three. Goes back to Hill to Shoup. Kind of still working it around and now getting it inside to Johnson. Could not get the roll off the rim. Here comes Cotita now. She has all four of the Norristown points. There's Blake from the right wing. Couldn't get it. The rebound for Conestoga and Kim Shoup. There's Ellen Hill now. Kim Shoup to Katie Dunn. She goes to Johnson. Inside to Johnson. It was actually um, Shine on the pass. And now here comes the Eagles. A three for Waters is way short. But a reverse layup goes down for Heather McHugh. I don't know. Maybe that play by Waters was intended to be a pass, but basketball is a game of runs, and Conestoga opened it up with nine straight points to go out to the early 9-0 lead. But a timeout by Keith Webster uh, has really turned things around. The last six points have gone to Norristown. It's now a 9-6 ball game. Four points for Bryn Cotita for Norristown. Uh, Kristen Johnson also with four for Conestoga. The Eagles make their first substitution of the game. Natasha Matthews, the six-foot sophomore forward, will come into the game for Devin Blake. So Katie Dunn will bring it up. She's guarded by Katita. Let's see if Kind of so good can get Chelsea Shine involved into this offense a little bit more. Here's Johnson out to Dunn. Actually, Chelsea Shine on the bench right now. Kristen Johnson will be the main scoring threat out there 
for Conestoga along with Katie Dunn. Here's Regenshine to Katie Dunn inside to Johnson. Lost it momentarily, got it back. And putting up a shot, getting it, and a foul was Emily Fazzini. So the five foot nine freshman will go to the line to try to complete a three point play. The foul was on Sophia Waters for Norristown. Just our first. Here's the free throw. It's up and no good. So Fazzini could not complete the three point play. Here's McHugh to Waters. Out to Mitchell who's taken over at the point for Norristown for Bryn Cotito. A lazy pass by Mitchell is stolen away by Fazzini. In for the easy layup and it goes. So four straight points for Conestoga. Now we've gone back and forth with the runs here. Here's McHugh over to Waters. Back to McHugh. And now in the hands of Mitchell. Who likes to use her speed and drive to the basket. Here's McHugh. Gets it to Mitchell. Back to McHugh once again. It's now in the hands of Waters. The Eagles will try to set something up with one minute left in the first quarter. Mitchell now kicks it out to Waters. Goes back into Mitchell. She'll drive, put up a shot. But before the shot, a dribble violation on Ravon Mitchell, so nothing working that time on offense for the Eagles. Bryn Gutita promptly back into the game. Heather McHugh will go to the bench in her place. Here's Katie Dunn to Fazzini. The pass inside to Shine was deflected and stolen by the Eagles. If you want to limit the effectiveness of Shine and Johnson, just deny the passing lanes. That's one way to do it. Here comes Cochita. She was hit hard along the baseline. So Bryn Cochita is going to the line for a pair. Bryn Cochita averaged 10.2 points per game on the regular season. Bryn Cotita, the five foot senior point guard, shoots her first here. It's up and good. Bryn Cotita right on her season average in Norristown's playoff opening win versus Unionville at 10 points. We've got half a minute to go in the first quarter, and the um, uh, Conestoga Pioneers are still on top of the Eagles. 13 to 8 now as Katita converts both free throws. Mitchell applying some backcourt pressure, but now here's Katie Dunn. Now it's Fazzini. She'll stop and go inside to Shine, who puts it up and in. So that's the first points of the game for the very talented center, Chelsea Shine, as Brinko Tito's three-quarter shot heave was just barely short. And at the end of one, Norristown trails the host Conestoga Pioneers by a score of 15 to 8. So Chelsea Shine, Conestoga's star center, has been held in check here, scoring-wise anyway, with just two points. Yet, it was Conestoga's pressure defense, all the steals they've gotten, that have fueled their successful first quarter. Bryn Cotita has six for the Eagles, and she is a large reason why the Eagles are still in this game. She's provided a ton of energy off the bench. That's something you can always count on from Bryn. The Eagles will break the huddle and come out ready to start the second quarter with Katita, Matthews, Rose, McHugh, and Mitchell. We're going to have a very fast pair of guards here in the game with Katita and Mitchell. Makes the Eagles very athletic. Katita will receive the ball to start things off in the second quarter. Katita goes to McHugh. She goes back to Katita. The crowd wants to travel. They won't get it. Here's Matthews down low. 
looking to pass, goes to Mitchell. Right by all the kind of slugger defenders and puts a shot up and in. Rayvon Mitchell once again showing her speed and blew by at least two or three kind of Stoker defenders there and then was able to get the finish as well. Here's Kristen Johnson to Kim Shoup. It's passed in and now back out to Shoup. Fazzini. And a shot up and no good for Colleen Geenan. Here's Cotita. Goes over to McHugh. She fakes for three. Now gets a shorter two. She was hit, but there was no call. The rebound goes to Kristen Johnson. And McHugh, nice use of the shot fake there. Was able to get herself a more open look. But despite some contact, no foul called on that one. And the shot was way short. A three for the big man. Johnson doesn't get it. A rebound pulled down by Chelsea Shine. And she was fouled by Rayvon Mitchell. Nice down still a ways away from the penalty. So... It'll be an inbound for the Conestoga Pioneers. We've played just over a minute in the second quarter. The Norristown Eagles trail by five, 15 to 10. Norristown's leading scorer, Sophie Waters, re-enters the game for the Eagles. Rayvon Mitchell is out. A nice play there, run off the inbound pass, but Fazzini couldn't get the finish on it. Well, they got the ball into Chelsea Shine, who then went back down to Emily Fazzini. And Chelsea Shine attracting so much defensive attention, and rightfully so. But they left Emily Fazzini open, but she was not able to convert the open baseline two. Here's O'Donnell now. Going all the way to the basket, putting up a shot and not getting it. The rebound goes out to Kim Shoup. Here's Shoup. Petita defending. Shoup gets it to Johnson to shine. She'll take the long two. It's way off. And the rebound for Heather McHugh. Here comes the Eagles that can run. Sophia Waters right by a defender. It could not finish. The rebound's out of bounds. And Emily Fazzini attempted to save it. So the ball is going to go to Norristown. Boy, great job in transition that time by Sophie Waters to blow by a girl and get to the basket but no finish fortunately Narstown able to keep the ball though here's Cotita takes two it does not go the rebound for Kristen Johnson 15 to 10 still we've got exactly six minutes to go in the second quarter here's Kim Shoup inside to shine nice pass no catch though here's Hill back to Johnson thought about a shot now goes inside to shine nice move by shine couldn't get it though and Brittany Rhodes was knocked down. And Norristown will get the ball on a foul. I believe it'll be on Kristen Johnson. It is on Kristen Johnson. That's her second personal foul. So in a little bit of trouble now in terms of fouls, she goes to the bench. Here's Katita to Heather McHugh. Threw a few defenders now to the open waters. No shot there, and her pass out was intercepted. Here's Kim Shoup losing it. Heather McHugh with the great one-on-one -on -one defense. Here comes McHugh. Shoup trying to get it back. Can't do it. Gets it to Katita. Katita goes to McHugh to two waters. Katita going to the corner. Now inside to O'Donnell. Puts it up. Does not get it. Gets her own miss. Goes back out to waters to McHugh. A three goes down for Heather McHugh. Heather McHugh, the sharp shooting senior guard, gets her first three of the game, and that's good to see. She's torched teams with her long range shooting all year. And it's now just a two point Norristown deficit. Norristown comes in as the 13th seed, trying to upset the fourth seeded Conestoga Pioneers. Here is Katie Dunn. Nothing there. Goes inside to Shine, puts up a shot, and gets it. So Chelsea Shine up to four points now. Norristown's done a nice job defensively on Chelsea Shine thus far. Here's Katita. Being guarded and guarded well by Katie Dunn, but gets by her. To the basket and a block by Chelsea Shine. It's out of bounds off of that block, but you know, even when Chelsea Shine's not scoring in uh, 
huge quantities. Her rebounding and her uh, just her presence down low, changing shots and blocking shots are huge for a team. Great pass from O'Donnell to Blake, but no finish. Back up goes O'Donnell and gets it. So the inside play with Blake and Alyssa O'Donnell nets the Eagles a pair of points. Half of the second quarter remains and Norristown trails 17 to 15 on the road at Conestoga. Here's Kim Shoot, guarded by Kotita. Gets it into the corner for Hill. Back up to Shoot. Inside to Shine, takes the foul line jumper. Couldn't get it. And here comes the Eagles. And Sophie Waters looked like she wanted to pass it, then pulled it back in. And once she had two hands in the ball, the officials had to call a double dribble. Rayvon Mitchell back into the game for the Eagles. Bryn Katita will get a rest. And the ball is in the hands of Katie Dunn. Katie Dunn has played the entire game thus far. Running the point for Conestoga. Here's Dunn. To shoot. And now to Allen Hill. Here's Fazzini. Driving, putting up a shot, and it goes. And Emily Fazzini, the freshman, now leads all scorers with six. Here's Rayvon Mitchell to McHugh, back to Mitchell. The Eagles trailing by four points with three minutes to go in the half. The pass inside to O'Donnell. Puts up a shot off the glass, doesn't get it, but she will get a pair of free throws. Alyssa O'Donnell, Norristown's leading rebounder on the year, as well as their second leading scorer, 11.1 points per during the regular season. Her first of two free throws is up and good. That makes it a one possession game as it's 19 to 16 Pioneers with 2.55 to go on the half. O'Donnell's second can make it a two point game. It's up and it is good. So a pair of free throws for Alyssa O'Donnell. She's now got four points. And here's Dunn losing it in the backcourt. And they call a foul on Rayvon Mitchell as she tried to create a steal on the backcourt. So the Conestoga Pioneers will inbound. Good hustle there by Rayvon Mitchell. Uh, the lone girl in the backcourt creating some pressure. Nearly able to create a jump ball and maybe a steal. But the tough call there on the foul. Here's Shoop now. Goes to Chelsea Shine. Standing at six foot three, taller than anyone in this game. That's why she's a top college prospect. Gonna play Division I ball after she completes her senior year. Here's Ellen Hill. Puts up for three. It doesn't go. The rebound for Kotita. Here comes the Eagles in transition. Mitchell putting up the shot. And a foul called on Chelsea Shine. Applause from the Norristown faithful who have come out to Conestoga. A good amount of fans coming out supporting the Lady Eagles as they attempt to make states here tonight. A win puts them in the top eight teams in this District 1 bracket, which guarantees them a spot in the state uh, tournament. The loser of this game will see their season come to an end. So Emily Fazzini has six points. Bryn Katita also has that. They are tied for the game lead in scoring. And the Eagles are playing right with the fourth seeded Conestoga Pioneers. They trail by two. And if they, they started out uh, very shaky, down nine nothing early, and it looked kind of bad. But they've been able to rebound. And they're on a nice run right now to uh, considering the bad start they're off to. So if they keep playing how they've been playing over the last, uh, say, eight or nine minutes, they'll be in good shape to try to pull off an upset. So 
So now Mitchell will get her free throws as she was fouled inside. Rayvon Mitchell averaged 3.7 points per game on the regular season and misses the first free throw long. Mitchell will get another one. It is up and it is no good. The rebound for Emily Fazzini. She has impressed here, the freshman guard. Nice shoot. Goes to Fazzini. Takes the long two. Fazzini not able to get it, but a rebound for Chelsea Shine, but stolen away by Mitchell. Here comes O'Donnell now. It's stripped away by Shoup. And it goes out of bounds off of that, and they will award the ball to the Eagles. So the last time this game was tied, it was at zero. But the Eagles have the ball down by two now, so they have a chance to pull even once again. Kim Shoup limps over to the bench, so we'll see if uh, she comes back to the game. She appears to be nicked up. Here's Kotita to the basket. Got it off the glass. Bryn Kotita. Eight points for Bryn Kotita now. We've got a minute 30 to play in the half. It's all tied at 19. Here's Fazzini. And now they get it over to Hill. Bounce pass to Fazzini. And the pass intended for Shine was picked off for Alyssa O'Donnell. Here's Kotita and could not get the basket to call an offensive foul. So the rare offensive foul call is whistled on Bryn Kutita. And with a minute 20 to go in the half, the Conestoga Pioneers will take the ball in a tie game. Kaylee Dunn brings it up. She has not scored yet today despite scoring 18 in her last game. Here's Ellen Hill. Gets it to Fazzini. Now it's back to the top to Ellen Hill. Here's Dunn. Gets it to Fizzini, or to Shine. And that pass intended for Fazzini is over her head and out of bounds. So the bad pass results in a turnover and the Norristown Eagles take over and will have a chance if they can play well in this last 45 seconds to earn a lead as they go into the locker room and that would be a great feeling for them if they could go into halftime with some momentum. Here's Kotita. Into Matthews, puts up a shot and it goes. That one hung up on the rim for a while but it went down for Natasha Matthews. We've got half a minute to go now in the second quarter. Let's see if Conestoga tries to hold for the last shot. It doesn't look like they will. Here's Dunn. Don't count that shot. There was a foul on the floor, a blocking foul. Chelsea Shine is going to return to the game for Conestoga. Cache Hinton is into the game for the first time for the Norristown Eagles. So 24 seconds in the half. They pass inside to Shine. And before that shot, she traveled with the basketball. So the Eagles have the two-point lead and have a chance to extend it to two possessions before halftime. 20 seconds to go. Last shot time for the Eagles. Here's Matthews. Let's see what they run. Matthews gets it to McHugh. 10 seconds to go now. Here's Waters. Four seconds to go. Waters has to do something. Trying to get by Fazzini. Puts up the shot at the buzzer. It's in and out. No good. But Norristown, the underdog, coming into Conestoga High, find themselves down by just two at the intermission. Bryn Kotita has been huge in the first half for the Norristown Eagles with eight points. And for the Conestoga Pioneers, Emily Fazzini, the freshman forward, has been their best scorer tonight. She's got six. So Norristown will continue their 
uh, quest to try to pull the upset here at Conestoga after we return from a short halftime break. I'm Mark Kolodinsky. You're watching NASD TV Channel 28. We'll be right back. Mark Channel 28. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the second half, everybody. I'm Mark Kolodinsky, bringing you the play-by-play -play action here at Conestoga High. You're watching NASD TV Channel 28, and in the first half, Chelsea Shine, the star player on the floor tonight for Conestoga High, was held in check with just four points, yet Conestoga got off to a very hot start. Nine nothing it was at one point. However, Norristown closed it out on a 21-10 run. They currently lead the Conestoga Pioneers by a score of 21 to 19. Here's Shine to Katie Dunn, who was very quiet scoring-wise in the first half. Here's Dunn. Goes to Hill. Inside to Johnson. Puts up a shot on Waters, but it doesn't go, and Waters gets the rebound. Here comes the Eagles. They can run. They go to McHugh. She'll go back to Waters, and she'll hoist a three, and it goes down for Sophia Waters. That's the first points of the game for Sophie Waters, and pretty surprising that they come this late in the game as she's been a prolific scorer this season. 12.9 points per game. Also 18.3 to close out the regular season. The last six games was when she averaged that 18.3. And a travel by Chelsea Shine as she attempted a low post move to get herself a high percentage shot. Well, the Eagles will have a chance to gain some more momentum. Dangerous pass by McHugh, finds O'Donnell, and now it's Kotita kicking it out to Waters. Another three, and it goes down again for Sophia Waters. Sophia Waters hits back-to-back -back trays to open up the half, and it's an eight-point Norristown advantage. Again, a do-or-die game here. The winner goes to States. The loser's season is over. Here is Kim Shoot. Now it's Shine in the corner, back to Shoup. This is Johnson. Goes to Shoup. Bounce pass inside. And a foul on Devin Blake as she tried to deny the passing lane inside to Chelsea Shine. So Norristown able to score the first six points of the half. Both of those baskets were Sophie Waters threes. Six and a half minutes to go in the third quarter now. It's 27 to 19 Eagles. The inbound play goes to Johnson, but she couldn't finish. Got her own miss. Didn't get it again. And O'Donnell fights for the rebound. Shine and Johnson are tremendous rebounders, but Alyssa O'Donnell is also a very good one and uh, was able to out-rebound both of them on that play. Nice pass from Katita. Oh, but a block by Johnson, but they call a foul. Katita with the excellent look to a cutting Alyssa O'Donnell. The shot was swatted away, but uh, a foul was called. It's the third personal on Kristen Johnson, who's now in some real foul trouble. Let's see if they leave her in the game. Coach John Jones has a decision to make. No uh, action on the kind of stick of bench, so I guess they're going to uh, leave Johnson out there with three personals early in the third as O'Donnell misses the first of two free throws. The second one is in the air and no, it's good. So 6-11 to go in the third quarter, 28-19 Eagles. Here's Chelsea Shine, gets it to Emily Fazzini. Fires over to Hill and now it's done. Kind of still working it around. They've got a nine point deficit, their largest of the game. A three by Dunn is no good but a foul call. Emily Fazzini is going to, or excuse me, Katie Dunn's going to go to the line. And let's see if they're, are they going to give her three free throws or was her foot on the line? We will find out, but either way, Katie Dunn is at the line. The five foot four sophomore point guard puts up the first and it is good. 
So that's just Katie Dunn's first point of the game. And it's an eight point deficit for Conestoga now with just under six minutes to go in the third as Dunn hits the second of three. She was indeed fouled beyond the arc, so Dunn will get a third. Number three makes three at the line. And McHugh will inbound for the Eagles. So here is Brent Katita going over to Heather McHugh to Waters. They run a play for Katita. And before she began that drive, she traveled. She knew it, not upset with that call. 5.44 to go in the third quarter. And the Eagles on top of the fourth seeded Conestoga Pioneers here by six points. Here's Katie Dunn to Ellen Hill. Calling for the ball is Chelsea Shine. Won't get it. Shine has position down low on O'Donnell, but now it's a shot by Fazzini from the baseline. And uh, calling for the ball the whole time was Shine, but she could not get a pass from any of her teammates. And Katie Dunn knocked a pass out of bounds. So the Eagles transition offense is broken up, but they will retain possession here. The inbound pass into the backcourt to Kotira, who's been the Eagles' best offensive weapon here tonight with eight points. Goes inside to O'Donnell, and she misses the low post shot. Who's done with five minutes to go in the third. Still a six point deficit for Conestoga. There's Fazzini. Again, calling for the ball is Shine. Here's Ellen Hill. Gets it to Dunn. Back to Hill. To Johnson. The Pioneers working it around. A shot fake. Now a pass by Dunn. And rattling in a mid-range two was Chelsea Shine. Great job there, there by Katie Dunn. Credit her with a dime. And the Eagles will try to answer that back. This continues to be a game of runs as Conestoga's now scored the last five points in this game. There's a long two by Waters that was partially blocked. And a rebound for Kristen Johnson. Here's Ellen Hill. Gets it to Johnson. Started by the much smaller Kotita. And Fazzini used a shot fake and tried to drive, but she took too many steps before she began that drive. So a turnover on Emily Fazzini. The Eagles got off to that terrible start, down 9-0. But Bryn Kotita really put a spark in them, providing a large amount of energy and scoring. And now a three by Waters. Again, it was partially blocked. Here comes Johnson to shine. Couldn't get it. Johnson got it back, though, and put it in. So the Eagles come out of the locker room and score the first seven points of the half. But now it's a 7-0 run of their own for Conestoga. So the teams trade 7-0 runs, and now a steal by Emily Hill. Natasha Matthews and Rayvon Mitchell are going to check into the game at the next timeout. Inside to Shine. Working on O'Donnell. Puts up the shot and gets it. Great offense in the post that time by Chelsea Shine as the Eagles call timeout. A standing ovation by the kind of Stoke of Faithful here as they salute their pioneers who have now tied the game at 28. Well, the teams exchange big runs. Uh, kind of still good. 9-0 and counting for them. But the teams will talk it over with their coaches, John Jones for the Pioneers and Keith Webster for the Eagles. And we'll see if this timeout can uh, help break the momentum of that enormous kind of Stoga run. The uh, big men for Conestoga have picked up their scoring a little bit in the second half. Now 14 points between Shine and Johnson. Eight for Shine and six for Johnson. Norristown's done a nice job of keeping Chelsea Shine in check though. The uh, senior six foot three center trying to decide right now between Virginia and Virginia Tech for where she'll play next year. And she'll be a big time college player. But for now, trying to keep our Conestoga Pioneers state championship hopes alive. 
They come into this tournament with big expectations as a four seed. The Eagles coming in as a 13 seed though, have them on the ropes. Because Waters trying to get it to Mitchell and finally does. And she walked with the basketball. Not a lot of defensive pressure, just a dumb mental error on Rayvon Mitchell. You never know when something that small, and that uh, doesn't seem like anything big right now, but when this game ends in a two-point game one way or the other, it's going to look, it could look big. Something like that could look big. Here's Kim shoot over to Dunn. Does not take the three. Goes inside to shine. Turn around, jump shots, no good. Got her on this, but then lost it. Heather McHugh snatches it. The Eagles on the run. McHugh dishes off to O'Donnell. And she was bumped. And I believe she's going to get two free throws. And she is. They indeed call it a shooting foul. Alyssa O'Donnell has five points for the Eagles thus far. Again, averaging 11.1 per game during the regular season, and now they're going to say it was not a shooting foul. So with Conestoga only having two team fouls, it'll be an inbound for Norristown. Here's Mitchell, and now McHugh. O'Donnell, meanwhile, is on the bench now taking a rest. Rose and Matthews will anchor the paint for the Eagles. Here's Mitchell to Waters. Into the corner for McHugh. They could not get her the open three on that play, though. Here's Mitchell now, looking to set something else up. Tie game at 28. Two minutes and change left to go in the third quarter. Here's McHugh. Takes the open foul on jumper, and she got it. Heather McHugh can hit shots from anywhere on the court. Just a great jump shooter. Here is Reagan Shine, and now in the corner to Fazzini. Here's Kim Shoup, goes to Dunn. And now it's Shoup, back to Vizzini. The kind of stick of Pioneers continue to work it around. Now try to get it inside, but once again, the Eagles deny the passing lane. But now the loose ball goes to Chelsea Shine, and don't count that layup attempt as there was a foul as the teams scrambled for that loose ball. The pass inside for Shine was batted away. And it looked like McHugh and Waters were going to get the, one of them was going to get a steal there. But Chelsea Shine did a great job to keep it alive. There's a dish to Reagan Shine. Now back to Chelsea. Chelsea Shine driving, putting up the mid range two. It's short. Got her own miss. Puts it up. No good, but a foul. So it's a 30 to 28 game with the Eagles holding on to the two point lead. Sophia Wetters now has three fouls. And Chelsea Shine is going to shoot two. She's got eight points. She can get into double digits from the line. Her first of two free throws is up and no good. That one hung up there on the rim for a while, but does not go down for Shine. Sophie Waters has the three personals, so she'll get a rest here. She had the three-point touch coming out of the locker room, hitting back-to-back -back trays, but since then has been quiet as she was in the first half. That's a miss for Shine. She knew it, though, and tried to get her own miss. Couldn't, but Fazzini for Conestoga could. And wise decision by her to call a timeout when she hit the ground to go for that. So many times we see players dive for balls like that and then someone dives on top of them and it ends up in a jump ball or we see them uh, sliding around on the floor with it and they get called for traveling. But a great, de uh, great decision there by Emily Fazzini, who is a freshman, did not look like it on that play. Once again, 30 to 28. The Eagles with the lead here on the road trying to pull an upset. Rose, Matthews, Cotita, Mitchell, and McHugh for the Eagles with a minute and 19 to go in the third quarter. Here is Dunn. Goes to Johnson who re-enters the game now. 
She put it up and in, got the shot to go over Rhodes. So now Cartita. A minute and change left to go in the quarter. Mitchell was not able to handle it, but then got it back. But now she's called for a dribble violation. As Brittany Rose goes to the bench to take a seat. Uh, Alyssa O'Donnell back in. Chelsea Shine is not in the game, though. So we'll see how that works out for Conestoga, as they do have Kristen Johnson in the game. They get the ball to her here. The defense by Matthews, but it's not good enough. Count the basket for Kristen Johnson, who's now got 10. She and Chelsea Shine have been good here tonight. That pass nearly got away from O'Donnell. She puts it up in the post area and gets it. So the teams exchange points deep in the paint. Mitchell steals an inbound pass, and it goes off of a foot. Oh, it's actually a foul. And they call the foul on Conestoga. So Mitchell, or Katuda actually will inbound. Chelsea Shine and Devin Blake both enter the game. Ellen Hill as well. Reagan Shine and Emily Fazzini take a seat. Tie game at 32 all. Half a minute to go in the third quarter. Here's Cotita. Bounce us inside to no one in particular. Here's Kristen Johnson. She wanted O'Donnell, but the pass was nowhere close. And the um, Conestoga Pioneers can get their first lead of the game since they led 19 to 17 in the second quarter. They got 12 seconds though. Let's see what kind of shot they can get off. Here's Dunn. Gets a pick from Johnson. Now puts up a floater, it doesn't go. Rebound Johnson, goes out to Shine, who puts it up, does not get it. There is the buzzer for the quarter. At, at the end of three, we have a tie game. I'm Mark Kalodinsky, bringing you the action on NASD TV. And buckle in for what should be a tremendously exciting fourth quarter. State championships are, uh, state championship tournaments are on the line. Winner goes there, loser goes home. And we got a tie game headed into the money quarter. Kristen Johnson and Chelsea Shine have combined for 18, or tw uh, 18 points, 8 for Shine, 10 for Johnson. And we knew coming into this game that the inside scoring in the paint was going to be huge for them with Johnson and Shine, two extremely talented uh, centers and forwards. For the Eagles, it's been Bryn Cotito, who still has eight, giving them their best scoring output. It's been pretty balanced attack, though, for Norristown. You also have McHugh with seven, O'Donnell with seven. And the teams are back out onto the floor to begin the fourth quarter. Here we go, eight minutes to determine who goes to the state tournament. That pass nearly picked off by Chelsea Shine. Came out of nowhere and used her six foot three frame to knock it away, but not able to keep control. Sharp shooter Heather McHugh returns to the action. Rayvon Mitchell heads to the bench. So it'll be Bryn Cotita going over to McHugh. Bounce pass, Blake. Blake driving baseline, puts up the floater, no good. The rebound for Chelsea Shine. Good shot there, close to the basket for Blake, but no finish. Here is Shoot. Chelsea Shine, back to Shoot. We've played half a minute in the fourth quarter. There's been no score in the quarter, it's 32 all. Here's Shoot, guarded and guarded well by McHugh. Here's Shine, puts it up from the foul line, it doesn't go. And a foul, a loose ball foul. And it's on Norristown as they pushed Conestoga out of the way as they were vying for the rebound. Johnson to inbound. Oh, and tapped back to her by Chelsea Shine. What a great play run off the inbound pass as Johnson 
went to Shine, who merrily passed it back on a tip, and Johnson was wide open. Brent Gatito loses it. Here comes the Pioneers. McHugh back defensively. Shine puts it up, does not get it. Here's McHugh. Ahead to Waters, numbers for the Eagles. A player is knocked down by Waters, no call. Here's Gatita, takes the corner three, no good. The rebound for Katie Dunn of Conestoga. Fast pace here in the fourth quarter at Conestoga High. 6.37 to go in the game, 34-32. The Conestoga Pioneers on top. They also own possession right now. Here's Kim Shoot. Goes to Ellen Hill. Back to Shoot. The Conestoga Pioneers getting signals from their head coach, John Jones. Here's Ellen Hill. And now Katie Dunn inside to shine. Tried to get it to Johnson, but it was batted away and picked off. And that pass, or that ball went out of bounds. And it would have gone to Conestoga if not for that foul. A duo of subs enters the game for the Eagles. Rayvon Mitchell and Natasha Matthews. So Conestoga with some really good defense there, batting away passes. And then on the offensive end, getting themselves some pretty good shots, but fortunately only two points in that little sequence for them. And the Eagles are still very much alive. Here's Mitchell putting it up and getting it to go. Boy, Rayvon Mitchell just uh, a blur as she goes from the, beyond the arc into the paint and then puts up a impressive layup. Irvine Mitchell, a very exciting player to watch indeed. Here's Shoup, guarded by Waters. Now Ellen Hill looks at a three but goes to Johnson. The foul line jumper rattles in for Johnson. The two point lead back to the Pioneers. 14 points now for Kristen Johnson. Here's McHugh driving. Bounce pass to Matthews. Puts it up and before the shot, a travel. So Natasha Matthews had a fight just to uh, not let that pass get away from her. And she tried to put up a shot but traveled before it. A good job though by the Eagles to get the ball inside and try to get something high percentage. And a black backcourt violation, I believe, is the call on the kind of stick of Pioneers. Great defensive pressure from the Eagles and uh, not a very heads up play by Katie Dunn who was called for the backcourt. Here's Mitchell now. She'll go to O'Donnell, puts it up off the glass and in. We've got ourselves another tie game. 36 all is your score now. Five minutes to go in the game. Here's Katie Dunn defended by Mitchell. Mitchell swats at it, can't get it. And they call a five second violation on Katie Dunn and the Conestoga Pioneers. You can't hold the ball when you're closely guarded without advancing it for five straight seconds. That's what Katie Dunn did. Uh, so a high school basketball rule comes back to bite Katie Dunn. So now the Eagles will have the chance to take the lead. Tie game at 36 still. Four minutes and 50 seconds to go in the fourth quarter. There's Mitchell, goes to Katita. She'll drive. Put up a shot that was blocked, but before that, they call a violation on her. Um, was it an offensive foul? It was, it was a foul away from the ball on um, Alyssa O'Donnell. So an illegal screen or something of that nature and a turnover on the Eagles. Four minutes and 40 seconds to go. Conestoga and Norristown deadlocked at 36. Here's Ellen Hill. Goes to Emily Fazzini, who spent the last couple minutes on the bench and now returns. Dunn goes to Fazzini. Gets it to shine. Back to Fazzini, puts it up for two. Her foot was on the line, but it's no good anyway. The rebound for Waters. It got away from her a little bit though, so no chance for transition points. But attacking right away anyway is O'Donnell, couldn't get it. Put back up by Mitchell and blocked away. No call there, despite Mitchell going down to the hardwood. 
that long pass swung over to Ellen Hill. Here's Hill now getting a screen from Shine. Hill pressured by Kotita and a timeout called by John Jones and the Conestoga Pioneers. Nine points for Alyssa O'Donnell and eight for Brent Kotita, the star seniors that lead the Eagles into Conestoga. Yet it's um, the 14 points for Kristen Johnson and the eight points for Chelsea Shine that have kept this game tied at 36. We've gone back and forth for much of the fourth quarter. And uh, we've got about half a quarter left to go in one of these two teams' seasons. So major, major implications for this game. A lot on the line. Keith Webster talks to his Norristown Eagles. John Jones talks to his Conestoga Pioneers. Thirty-six all is the score. The Conestoga Pioneers come out with Shoop, Dunn, Johnson, uh, Chelsea Shine, and Ellen Hill. The Eagles, there are five on the floor. McHugh, Matthews, Waters, O'Donnell, and Cotita. Other than Matthews, that is their starting five, as Matthews is in instead of Blake. And for Conestoga, it is their starting five out on the floor. Here's Ellen Hill. Three and a half minutes to go. Here's Johnson putting up the shot. Couldn't get it. The rebound for Shano. And puts it in with the right hand. The crowd making some noise. There's some Norristown fans in attendance on the road tonight, but mostly Conestoga fans here. And they appreciate the basket on the other end by Shine. And there's a foul on the play. I believe Waters was the recipient of the foul. Petita will inbound. It's the fifth team foul on Conestoga, so still two fouls away from the penalty. And they inbound it to O'Donnell. Here's Petita. And she was fouled by Chelsea Shine. So some uh, touch fouls being called by these refs against Conestoga. The crowd doesn't like it. Norris Donnell inbound yet again with three minutes and ten seconds to go. Ellis O'Donnell right off the inbound. Couldn't get it. It went off the back of the rim and then off the front and rolled off. No good. Conestoga has a chance to take a two-possession lead. We haven't seen a two-point, a two-possession lead in a while in this game. Here's Kim Shoup. Guarded by McHugh, nearly took it away from her. There's Chelsea Shine now all the way out near midcourt. Katie Dunn. Getting a screen from Chelsea Shine. Shine goes into Ellen Hill in the corner. Inside to Johnson, back out to Shine. Ellen Hill now. Back to Shine. The Conestoga Pioneers work it around and Ellen Hill misses a three off the glass. The Eagles with numbers, they throw it out to Waters. Way more speed than anyone else on the floor, but no finish. Rebound, and Alyssa O'Donnell putting up a shot that was no good, but she draws the foul. And how about Bryn Katita? Uh, she knows how to set up her teammates. She's been playing with Sophie Waters for a long time, and she just flipped it out there, let um, Sophie Waters go run to it. Way more speed than any kind of Stoga defender trying to catch up to her. Unfortunately, though, too much speed, perhaps, as she could not finish. But O'Donnell kept it alive with an offensive rebound, was fouled, but now misses the first. That keeps it at a two-point Conestoga Pioneer lead. Here is Alyssa O'Donnell for her second free throw. It's up and good. And calling a timeout before inbounding the basketball was Chelsea Shine. Two minutes and 15 seconds left in the fourth quarter. We've got a one point game here, 38 to 37. It is the um, Conestoga Pioneers with the advantage. Well, Conestoga again beating Chichester in the 
first round, Chichester was just a 29 seed. And now Conestoga facing a very tough challenge here in the 13 seeded Norristown Eagles. The winner of this game is going to go to Springford High, a neutral site, to play Great Valley, who defeated uh, 21 seeded Sheltonham by 10 points in the second round of play yesterday. Great Valley is a five seed, finishing the regular season at 21 and three. However, whichever team moves on to play them will already be assured a spot in states. So we're back to the action on the court. It's gonna be a very exciting two minutes and 15 seconds of basketball. Here's Johnson handling in the backcourt to Shine. How about Johnson and Shine, two big men bringing it up? That's the two players that the Conestoga Pioneers and Coach John Jones trust most. Shine throws it away. Rayva Mitchell is tripped and route to the basket. And she'll go to the line for two. She is okay after taking a hard spill. She will be able to tie the game with her first. It's the second foul on Kim Shoup. And Rayvon Mitchell, who has four points on the night, gets two of the biggest free throws of her career. 38-37 is the score, Conestoga on top. Mitchell's first of two free throws is up. And good. She was actually getting one and one because it was not a shooting foul. So um, Rayvon Mitchell does earn a second one though because she made the first. This can give the Norristown Eagles the lead and it does. Rayvon Mitchell calmly sinks two huge free throws. Norristown Eagles have the one point lead with a minute and 56 seconds to go in somebody's season. Whose dream will end here tonight? Narstown trying to do it on Conestoga's floor. Here's Shine dribbling out. Goes to Fazzini, driving baseline, puts up a shot, it's long. The rebound for Shine. Goes out to Dunn, puts it up for two, it's no good. The rebound for Johnson, got it. Chelsea Shine and Kristen Johnson have been great on the glass all night. Another example of that there. And Branca Tita dribbled off her leg and it rolled away out of bounds. So a turnover on Branca Tita. And with just a minute and 21 seconds to go, the Conestoga Pioneers have the one point lead and the ball. They don't need to be in any kind of hurry here. Oh, they get it ahead to Fazzini all by herself, but being caught up to by Waters. And wave off that attempt. Ellen Hill can't believe the call. It's a traveling. The Eagles will get a chance here to try to take the lead on this possession. Wow. Norristown now calling a timeout. And um, they had to sell out to try to get a steal in the backcourt. There was a minute, 21 seconds left to go at the time. Norristown had uh, all five of their girls in the backcourt trying to create a steal. Emily Fazzini shook loose. Uh, the inbound pass uh, was thrown all the way ahead to her near midcourt. She was able to get it. Had to slow down a little bit though. It allowed Waters and Mitchell to catch up to her. Two very athletic young ladies. And then Fazzini and Ellen Hill not able to make the offense work as Ellen Hill tried to drive baseline and put up a shot but was called for the traveling. So instead of a fast break layup for Emily Fazzini and a three point lead with a minute left, the Eagles will have the ball with a minute and 16 seconds left to go, down by one. McHugh, Katita, O'Donnell, Matthews, and Waters out on the floor for the Eagles. That is the Eagles' top five scorers on the year. Defensively for Conestoga, Johnson and Chelsea uh, uh, Shine will anchor the defense with Fazzini and Dunn on the perimeter along with Fazzini and Shoup, excuse me. 
Norristown, nothing happening offensively off the timeout, so not exactly how Keith Webster drew it up during the timeout. But they'll try to do it again. 15 seconds come off the clock, and Norristown goes back into the huddle, back to the drawing board. One of the biggest possessions of their season. In the defensive huddle for Conestoga, um, they've got to be focusing on stopping uh, Alyssa O'Donnell and Brent Cotita and Sophie Waters. There's just so many weapons for the Eagles. There's not really one player that you can key on and take away because the Eagles can hurt you in a number of different ways. You've got McHugh who can shoot threes, Brent Cotito who can do the same and can also drive and pass. Uh, O'Donnell who shoots down low very well and Waters who can score all over the floor. So here we go, Cotita. Throws it up, oh and they call a travel, a late call by the ref. And it's a traveling call. 53 seconds to go now. The Eagles need to stay focused. It's still a one-point kind of Stoga lead. The Eagles substitute offense out for, to put some defense in. That's McHugh out, Mitchell in. After this possession, the Eagles will put McHugh back in for Mitchell if they get the chance. Backcourt pressure for the Eagles. And they call the eight-second call on the Conestoga uh, Pioneers. They could not get the ball across midcourt in the allotted eight-second time period. Well, you got five-second calls, eight-second calls. But the Eagles will take it. And here's Waters to McHugh. 38 seconds to go. One-point deficit. They get it into O'Donnell. Puts it up. Double team. She was fouled. The Conestoga crowd here can't believe it. They begin to boo. Alyssa O'Donnell is going to get two huge pressure free throws here. The crowd will try to distract her. Alyssa O'Donnell, 5'11", senior forward. First free throw is up and good. That ties the game at 40 all. 34.4 seconds to go. Russell Graham and Cleef Watt, the rest of the boys' basketball team are in attendance. They stand up and cheer for O'Donnell as she puts up her second. It goes down. Alyssa O'Donnell sinks two huge free throws, just as Rayvon Mitchell did a few moments ago. Norristown's free throw shooting has been very good today. And... That's going to be huge if this turns out to be a one or two possession game, as it certainly looks like it will be. Half a minute to go in this game. Norristown by one. 27 seconds to go in the game now. Chance of defense from the crowd. The Norristown faithful make it some noise. And they call a foul on Alyssa O'Donnell, who can't believe the call. Emily Fazzini was fouled. She's going to shoot one and one as the Eagles have seven team fouls now. A large section of the crowd standing here at Conestoga High. There's the offense coming in for the defense. McHugh subbing for Rayvon Mitchell. Emily Fazzini will be iced by Keith Webster as he calls a timeout. Uh, he can talk to his team a little bit about what they're going to do offensively, but he can also put some more pressure on the freshman, Emily Fazzini, in a huge pressure situation. And she'll have to think about these two free throws coming up a little bit more. And it's a 41-40 to 40 game. The visiting Norristown Eagles holding on to the slim advantage. Shine and Johnson have combined for 26 points for the Conestoga Pioneers. 12 points for Alyssa O'Donnell leads the way for the Narstown offense. Brent Cotita with 8 and Heather McHugh chipping in 7. But throw out all those numbers because we have um, about 20 seconds of basketball left to play and it is anyone's game. Emily Fazzini is going to shoot two free throws. Or actually one and one, excuse me. Yeah. 
McHugh, Matthews, O'Donnell, Waters, and Cotita for the Eagles. 21.6 seconds left to go in the game. In the fourth quarter, anyway. Here, um, Fazzini is going to take one and one. Some noise being made by the Norristown crowd in attendance. Fazzini, foul line right. Puts it up. It doesn't go. The rebound for O'Donnell. And a great job by Alyssa O'Donnell to not only get the rebound, but to alertly get the ball to Bryn Katita as she knew the Pioneers had to foul and got the ball to one of the best free throw shooters on this team, if not the best, Bryn Katita. More pressure free throws for the Eagles. Even if she makes these two, it's going to be a three-point game, and the Conestoga Pioneers can go set something up for uh, some kind of a potential three-point shot. But first, Bryn Katita shooting her first. It does not go. Um, it's the double bonus time for Conestoga as they have 10 team fouls on that last one. So Bryn Katita missed the first, but we'll get another one. Bryn Katita, huge free throw to make it a two point advantage. It's good. Brent Katita sinks one. 18 seconds to go. Conestoga needs a two to tie. Here's Katie Dunn, guarded by Mitchell. Gets a screen from Johnson. Guarded by Katita. Dunn goes over to Shine for three. It doesn't go. The rebound for Hill, and she was fouled. Ellen Hill is going to go to the line. Alan Hill, the five foot six junior guard, scored six points in the playoff opener for Conestoga. Her first free throw is good. She'll get one more. Four seconds to go in the fourth quarter. Ellen Hill is going to try to tie the game with her second free throw. 42 41 Eagles. Ellen Hill for Conestoga shooting one, though. Ellen Hill for the tie. Got it. Plenty of time now. Plenty of time for the Eagles to try to set something up here. They go to Katita. Three, two, Katita with the running three. It goes! Brad Katita for the win! Brad Katita is mugged by our Norristown Eagle teammates. And the 13th seeded Norristown Eagles have come into Conestoga and upset the 4th seeded Conestoga Pioneers on their home floor. Brynn Cotita with a running 27 foot 3 point shot at the buzzer. The Norristown boys varsity team on the floor to celebrate with the girls. And how about that ending? Close game all throughout. A game of runs in the first half and um, back and forth then we went in the fourth quarter. And we looked headed to overtime, but Bryn Cotita was not gonna let it happen. Bryn Cotita's running three at the buzzer will propel Norristown into a state championship tournament berth. Bryn Cotita uh, finished the game with 11 points. The high score in the game belonged to Conestoga as Kristen Johnson had 16, but it doesn't matter because their season is over. The fourth seeded Conestoga Pioneers are shocked by your 13th seeded Norristown Eagles by a final score of 45 to 42. We hope you'll join us for some more district playoff games and then to be followed by states. Norristown's gonna go to Springford High to play Great Valley on a neutral site. Again, Great Valley, the fifth seeded team. But for now, I'm Mark Kalodinsky. You've been watching NASD TV, and we hope you'll join us for some more exciting Norristown basketball down the road. We'll see you then.